What's the Knesset? The Knesset is Israel's parliament. It's where all important issues are hotly debated and laws are made. You don't elect a president? No. Israel is a parliamentary democracy. That means that citizens elect representatives to the Knesset and the prime minister is chosen among those Knesset members. So who do people vote for? They vote for the party they like, not individual candidates. Do they vote for representatives of their city or district? Israel is very small, so the whole country is a single constituency. The 120 Knesset seats are divided proportionally to the number of votes that each party wins. Do you have a lot of parties? Yes. Israel is a very diverse country, and Israelis have very diverse opinions. In the last Knesset, there were 11 parties. But there is a basic threshold, meaning that each party must get at least 3.25% of the votes in order to enter the Knesset. And who gets to become prime minister? The prime minister is the leader of one of those parties. The party that gets the most votes? Usually, but not always. In Israel, no party ever got an overall majority of the Knesset seats. This means that the party leader who has the best chances of pulling together a viable coalition is chosen. So who can run for office? Every Israeli citizen over 21 can run, unless a court specifically restricted this right. Also, parties or candidates can be disqualified if they negate Israel's basic identity or incite to racism. That helps Israel's democracy protect itself. So Arab citizens can be elected? Of course. Many parties have Arab-Israeli candidates on their list, and there are also parties composed entirely of Arab Israelis. Discrimination is forbidden by law in Israel. Actually, this year, the head of Israel's elections committee is an Arab-Israeli Supreme Court judge. Who can vote? Every Israeli citizen over the age of 18. So Arab citizens vote too? Of course, every citizen. That means Jews, Muslims, atheists, Christians, Druze, Circassians, Baha'is, men, women, the list goes on and on. Is it hard to vote? No, Israel does everything possible to make the process fair and easy and to encourage everyone to vote. How? Well, first of all, election day is a national holiday. No work? No school? No. Cool, but do you have to travel far? No. As I said, Israel is a very small country, and there are more than 11,000 polling stations. What else makes it easy? The Israeli system is low-tech and user-friendly. All you have to do is pick a small slip of paper with the two or three letters that symbolize your favorite party and seal it in an envelope. And voting is completely free, fair, and secret? Definitely. Israel strongly believes in freedom and democracy. Everything is done to ensure that all Israeli citizens are free to vote according to their own conscience. So who's going to win? <laughs> Nobody knows. The only thing certain at this point is that Israeli democracy will win on election day. <laughs>